the vision of the boat bobbing alone in the middle of the ocean. It's maybe more romantic and glamorized than it actually is. Still, it's a special feeling when you leave the sight of land and you know it's a long, long time till you're going to see it again. You can never be prepared for the day that you go out on. Every day is different. Nature is so complex, waves particularly in wind, no wave will be the same. It's not something that you can ever master. You can just get better at it. Any boat has hundreds of ropes and pulleys, millimetres here, inches here, to get the right feel on the rudder, the right feel on the sheet. The boat's telling you how she's feeling. You know when it's right. The boat suddenly becomes weightless and you're surfing. You almost become mesmerized as you catch the next wave and the wave after. Sailing is a contest between you and your knowledge and, and your control of all the controllables and then you're fighting that up against this uncontrollable that's the wind. describe how irrationally annoyed it makes me when I can't get the boat to flow and I can't get it to work. Sometimes the wind's on your side. Other days you just can't quite get the balance right. The waves are too steep, they're too long, they're too slow. The sea and the weather's always been known for some predictability. That's the bit I'm trying to avoid. That's what I'm trying to iron out wherever I can. And it frustrates me when I can't always do that. Sometimes I just have to admit, our sport and my passion also comes down to luck. I've never felt vulnerable from the sea, maybe naively. I've lost friends who were incredibly good sailors. Although I've never felt that vulnerability, the scientist in me says that I'm being naive. 